We're back. It's time for the 80s. That's right. Episode 82 today of Find Music. Yes, always looking, always looking, and always finding because we've got people like Fred Whitlock here. You can depend on him to find what we need to see. Today's find is... Solomon Burke, uh, his later career in the last decade of his life. Um, Solomon Burke's a great soul singer from the early 60s. He was dubbed King of Soul and Rock. The Rolling Stones covered a few of his songs like Everybody Needs Somebody to Love and Cry to Me early in their career. After being away from the scene for a while in 2002, an album came out, Don't Give Up On Me. And the LA Times, when they reviewed him, they called him the Lost Soul Man. It was produced by singer-songwriter Joe Henry. And a lot of contrib songwriters and contributors came, stepped up to the plate, like Tom Waits, Brian Wilson, Bob Dylan, Elvis Costello, Van Morrison. And Burke took their songs and brought it his signature powerful voice to raise the bar. It was true to his very heart of rock and soul. And it also won a Grammy. Make do with what you got came out in 2005. And again, writers came to the plate with Bob Dylan once again, Robbie Robinson, Dr. John amongst others. And it was total funk, total authority with his great vocals and a pretty good production by Don was. And it featured Robert Parker Jr. on lead guitar and a Memphis guitarist, Reggie Young on rhythm. It makes a total picture of what Salman Burke could do with good material. And it was a great marriage. And the passion there knew no boundaries. In 2006, he came out with an album recorded in Nashville called Nashville. Now this shouldn't come to a surprise that knows anyone that knows his career because he's recorded country songs before. But this one is produced by Buddy Miller and it featured the cream of the crop of Nashville players and singers who do duets with him, including Dolly Parton, Patty Griffin, Amy Lou Harris. And once again, it carries him into great realms of music. 2010, Nothing Impossible, Nothing's Impossible, another passionate recording, record, this time recorded in Memphis with the great producer Willie Mitchell, who's famous for his Al Green recordings and Ann Peebles. It's a great collection which strikes the very core of soul music. Uh, the vocals are just right on target with Mitchell's arrangements he sets a groove that just carries Burke all the way through the recording. It's a, what a marriage between the two of them. And Mitchell shows he's at the height of his powers along with Burke, but unfortunately, Willie Mitchell died the following year after this album was released. And in 2011, he came out with an album called Hang On Tight. Burke hooked up with a band from the Netherlands. D I think he pronounces D Jink or D G. A band that has been around for 25 years playing soul music. It was recorded in Brussels, but you would think it was recorded in Muscle Shoals. They they never had, this band never had any of their songs recorded in English before. 
they translated the lyrics for him and then they play with such power the songs go into overdrive with burke's energetic vo vocals and the band just cooks up an incredible storm behind him. They work perfectly together, a force of nature. This album is an incredible vibrating force. It carries Burke to a new height of his career. And unfortunately, this was his last recording. He also died within a year of this recording. Um, he was on his way to the Netherlands to do a concert with this band live and he died on the plane. A great soul singer who even in late in his career was putting out some fine recordings. You should check them out. Jim, you have something to say. D-E-D-I-J-K, I just looked it up. It translates into the dike, which, oh. is, a, which is a big deal in the Netherlands, of course. <laughs> and um, I, I was afraid to try to pronounce it at first because it looked like something else. <laughs> but Solomon Burke, I remember him from the 60s. You know, he kind of just disappeared for a while. Yeah. I don't know what happened, you know. I'm I got to hear that he was him. still alive and making music until 2011. I'll check it out. He, he grew overweight, 60 Minutes did a whole segment on him. Okay. And uh, he, he could balloon up to over 300 pounds. And uh, when I, I saw him at Amoeba Records do a small concert, he had to come out in a wheelchair and then he sits in a throne uh -huh. and re sings from, from this throne that they brought out for him. <laughs> And did the band was see... cooking. I mean, it was great vocally, but he, you, you know. Did you ever get to see Screaming Jay Hawkins? No, I never got to see him, only on TV. Oh, he 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 would come out in a coffin, you know. Yeah. Sometimes. And then open up the coffin slowly and, you know, <laughs> look around. Quite a character. But it's good to hear. I hadn't thought of Solomon Burke in a long time. Thanks for doing that. Everybody. There you go. Need somebody to love. That's about all I know about him. <laughs> yeah, any other hits? Uh, a few minor hits after that. Yeah. He had about yeah. three or four major hits on the R&B charts. Mm. I'll have to research those. So I presume this yeah. fellow has a Greatest Hits album? Yes, he Ouch. does. Most likely. There's a single version and then there's a double CD version. Oh yeah, small sampling, larger sampling. Sounds very good. Uh, is there anyone you would equate him to for the uninitiated, like uh, my almost self? I would say if you liked Wilson Pickett, you would like Solomon Burks. Wicked Wilson, wicked Wilson Pickett. <laughs> That'll get some. Hits. I've Here's noticed some Solomon Burke titles. Here's some Solomon Burke, Solomon Burke titles. Cry to me. How many times? Baby, I want to be loved. Got to travel on. Keep the magic working. I almost lost my mind. A tear fell. Bebop grandma. Looking for my baby and just out of reach of my two open arms. There you go. Very soulful sounding titles there, except that one. Bebop grandma. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if she's the one that got run over by the reindeer. <laughs> Or was she kissing Be Santa Claus? Or, okay. <laughs> Bebop uh, Grandma got run over by a reindeer while she was kissing Santa Claus. There's a new title for you. So, <laughs> old dramatic we straight too far. <laughs> this has been episode 82 of Fine Music and Solomon Burke is more than just everybody. Okay. So, what do you do? You check out his later albums. Uh, what was that first one? It was called Don't don't give up on me, so we can't give up on him, even if he's passed. And hold on tight. All right, so it sounds like if you want some pure soul, Solomon Brick is the source, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Fred. <laughs>